walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Look, I just listened to an interview by Michelle Joy Phelps and Abel Sanchez. She called Abel Sanchez after the fight, all right, to ask him about, you know, Canelo saying that they made some offers to Triple G's team. They offered him like uh, two or three times the amount of money. I think that the translator was a little bit off with what Canelo was saying, but he was saying like, I offered him twice the amount of money that he's ever gotten, or maybe three times the amount of money that he's ever um, gotten before. And, um. She's asking him, like, okay, well, then uh, he said that they was offering you to fight. Did, you know, um, what did they offer? Now, Abel Sanchez don't have nothing to say. You know, I mean, she literally asked this man probably probably over 10 times, like, um, what was the offer? Was it a percentage? Or um, Oscar was saying something about a flat fee. What Was it a, a, a flat fee? And and he didn't have nothing to I mean, this dude is a straight up motherfucking liar. It's obvious as fuck. Now the truth is starting to come out about who's ducking that fight. He, uh, they're negotiating in a way where the fight won't get made. Well, how? They offer a percentage. I'm just a coach. You know, I'm not at liberty. Dude, you play matchmaker. You pay, play promoter. You you play the mouthpiece of Triple G. You speak for him. You speak for Abel Sanchez too. You promoting his fighter. You're not just a coach. If you was just a coach, you wouldn't be in the news every fucking day running your motherfucking mouth. And now, y'all motherfuckers starting to get exposed. Now, y'all, you ain't got shit to say. You know what I'm saying? You're going to sit back and play stupid. Oh, yeah, I'm just a coach. Now, if you want to know how many rounds of sparring that we had, yeah, I can tell you that. But I can't really tell you about what they offered. You know. You know what they offered. Y'all motherfuckers just went over there to the UK and took a $5 million flat fee for that fight. If Canelo offered you a $10 million flat fee for that fight, you should fucking take it. And if y'all didn't take it, y'all motherfucking ducking. And I think y'all motherfucking ducking anyways. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling y'all a whole, a whole bunch of motherfucking times. I just told y'all tonight, man, I didn't even know about that interview when I did my, my fight review videos. It's like, yeah, you know, shit about to get real interesting around this motherfucker. He said that we offered them the fight. And for whatever reason, they didn't want to take it. Michelle Joy Phelps called Abel Sanchez. He ain't got nothing to say. You know, and, and the only shit that he was talking in that interview, oh, uh, they know that Triple G would knock him out in eight rounds. So that's why they don't want to make the fight. But how? Why, why, why aren't you explaining what was offered? Because if they offered you some bullshit, let us think for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We're not just going to take your word for it. Yeah, the fanboys will. But what, what did they offer you to um, make it seem like they didn't want the fight? What? I mean, if this bullshit, say it. They the one put the shit out there. They put it out there. We offered you two or three times the amount of money or, you know, we offered the fight two or three times to you. And for whatever reason, they didn't want to take it. You know, we made them an offer two or three times. They didn't want to take it. OK, now it's out there that you guys have been negotiating still and Triple G's team didn't want to make the fight. OK, you, you got to clean it up. Canelo said we made them offers. They didn't want to take it. Did she come and ask you? You like, oh, I'm just a coach. You know, I'm not at liberty to talk about that. If you want to know about sparring, yeah, I could talk about that. But, I mean, how many fucks she asked him so many times, man? You know what? Maybe Michelle Joy Phelps really felt like Canelo's team was at fault because that's the way it looks like, right? That's the way they try to make it look. I'm telling you, they got people just fooled. She couldn't understand. I could tell by, like, her voice, she, she was confused. Like, why he wasn't answering that question. He, you know, it was obvious that he was being deceitful. I mean, it, it completely, 100%. He was like, he didn't want to answer the question. You know, I mean, he'd know. And you have been speaking for Triple G about everything. You act like you are Triple G. You talk more for him than he talked for his fucking self. You speak more for uh, Tom Lothar, too, than Tom Lothar say, uh, talk. You know, and then Tom Lothar come back and, and you know, co-sign the shit that you say. But... Nah, man, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Y'all motherfuckers getting exposed like a motherfucker, like, rapidly. It's just back to back to back to back. You know, y'all hypocrites for making the welterweight fight. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all actually go through with the fight where you were supposed to look super impressive. 
got your ass whooped. You gave that welterweight to wait your bantamweight gloves. Then you got beat the fuck up. And then y'all y'all act like Canelo's ducking the fight. He said we made them some offers. We made them like two or three offers. But for whatever reason, they didn't want to take it. He said that uh, you know I don't really like to talk bad about my rivals, so I didn't want to say nothing. And I've been telling y'all, man. I've been telling y'all. He was pricing himself out. I swear to God, man. And, and the motherfucker is, man. You know, and it's obvious. You know, Abel Sanchez can you know pretend to have a gag order, like he's not allowed to talk about certain things. But he talk about everything, man. You know, he make his fighter look bad, you know, to be honest, by making all of these ridiculous claims and contradicting himself all the motherfucking time, you know, and, and speaking for Triple G. You know, Abel Sanchez is like people. A lot of people think that it was only Abel Sanchez saying that Triple G would go from 154 to 168. When I showed y'all the video of Triple G saying he would go from 154 to 168. For me, it's easy. 154, 168. I've showed it to you multiple times. It wasn't just Abel Sanchez. But that's what people think because Abel Sanchez speaks for Triple G more than Triple G speaks for Triple G. And Abel Sanchez play matchmaker and promoter, you know, more than Tom Loeffler do. I did a video, what was it, back in, in fucking like March? In March saying that Team Triple G was interested in the Kell Brook fight. You can search it yourself. And guess who was talking about the Kell Brook fight? That's why this shit didn't just come out of nowhere. No 48-hour bullshit. You can miss me with that bullshit. It didn't just happen in no 48 hours and the fight magically got made. They was interested in that fight back in March. And guess who was talking about it? Abel Sanchez. Hey, you know, if Kel Brook want to come up to middleweight, he, that's, he's kind of doing what Amir Khan did with Canelo. And I think that's bossy. And if Tom and, and Eddie can put it together, then I think it'll be a great fight. That's what Abel Sanchez said. Ain't that the type of shit that a motherfucking matchmaker would say? Promoter, maybe? You know what I'm saying? But, hey, you're just a coach. We only can talk about sparring. You know what I'm saying? But you can talk about what weight classes this motherfucker can go to, go down to, go up to. You can talk about whatever potential opponents that he can fight or he don't, he shouldn't fight because they're not a big enough name. That's what the promoter do, right? He needs to build himself and, you know, he needs to work himself up. Uh, Gennady is, is just going to be at 160 and then, then it's 154. And then all of this bullshit. You know, gave, uh, Gilberto Ramirez uh, be a good fight. You know, that'd be a competitive fight. Now you're just a coach and you only know about sparring, right? I told you to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You might have got that memo. <laughs> you, you you shutting the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass locked up for not uh, doing something fishy with them, them raps. With the Kovalev fight, get your ass locked up. Make some phone calls. We need to figure out why that shit wasn't... It didn't have no writing from the commission. Yeah, you shutting the fuck up now, ain't you? Shut the fuck up, little bitch. What's up, old bitch? Travis Gotti boxing, talking you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? You ain't got shit to say. You know what I'm saying? But um, you'll see me at one of these fights. I ain't gonna do nothing to you, man. You know, I'm really a peaceful person and shit. I walk right past you and Tom. And y'all both was contradicting y'all. So after Dominic Wade fight, you know, I ain't say nothing. I ain't got no beef with you motherfuckers. But you gonna shut the fuck up now, ain't you, little bitch? <laughs> motherfucking expose you motherfuckers. Y'all exposing yourself. You know, so Mr. Abel Sanchez, it's nice to see that you shutting the fuck up. It was really about that motherfucking time. Y'all go watch that video. See what I'm talking about. I'm gonna link y'all up in the description. You know what I'm saying? It was about that time for you to shut your little bitch ass up. Travis Gotti up in this bitch changing the game, little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Everybody see right now. Who's the motherfucker that's ducking the fight that don't want to make the fight? Everybody see it now. Everybody see who could win the fight too. Yo, yo, fighter getting his ass whooped by welterweights. Canelo just completely shut. I mean, I know Liam Smith is the weakest champion at 154, but still, Liam Smith was an undefeated 154 pound champion who was beating Kell Brook's ass in sparring. I seen that video. He was beating Kell Brook's ass. So, Liam Smith might even beat fucking Triple G. Get the fuck up out of here, man. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. Gotta quit fucking with you. Gotta quit fucking with you.